My name is Ben Domain, Managing Editor with West for Chat, and here is the March 3rd edition of West for Chat News. Amid budget discussions ahead of annual town meeting this March, another important issue will be presented to voters, whether to comply with the MBTA Communities Act. Officials hosted a lunch and learn at the Chairman Senior Center on February 23rd, where residents were invited to learn more about the proposed zoning bylaw proposal. Attendees were invited to share their thoughts and questions regarding the proposal. One attendee asked whether the town must provide additional infrastructure for new developments. Quote, the owner is on the hook. We are not required to provide the infrastructure for these developments, Director of Land Use Management Jeffrey Morissette said. Another had asked what the time frame for a new development would be if the bylaw is passed in March. Quote, they could commence permitting by November or December of this year. They, the developer, would also take full advantage of the conceptual process, Morissette said. He added, they estimate once permitting is done, it would be two years for a large multifamily development start to finish to, and to be occupied. It could be three years, but some indicated it could be in FY27. One attendee was curious about new growth for the town's tax base, to which Morissette replied that the town is, quote, trying to be conservative and not paint a rosy picture. Quote, it could be up to 3.3 million of new growth. The assessor takes a look a few times a year at the property. Even if it doesn't have an occupancy permit, if there are improvements, there is potential for new growth, but you'd expect the full benefit once it's complete and occupied, he said. Not complying with the law could result in the loss of several grant opportunities and open up the town to civil enforcement from the state. The school committee voted to approve a new budget request ahead of annual town meeting, with approximately $800,000 in additional reductions. The committee voted 4-1 to support the budget during a February 26 meeting. Member Ming Cheng Zhang cast a dissenting vote. Members Sean Kelly and Marisol Garcia were not present. The new proposal falls approximately $800,000 shy of the initial needs-based budget approved by the committee in January. The initial needs-based budget already included approximately $830,000 in reductions and approximately $230,000 in offsets, which would have been eliminated in-district transportation for special education students and cut several positions across Westford Public Schools. The updated proposal eliminates certain administrative positions and offsets costs with funding from several revolving accounts. $157,000 offset from the food service account, which would cover indirect costs for the head custodian salaries, drew concerns over a dozen food service staff in attendance. We're just a little confused on this money being transferred that would like the understanding of the reason behind the proposal to move $150,000 from food service to the custodial salary, to go toward the custodial salary, that this money has taken us over 10 years to accrue. However, according to Superintendent of Schools Dr. Christopher Chu, this offset will not impact the town's ability to offer, quote, competitive wages to its staff. Additional increase doesn't compromise our ability to still have the reserve that we should have in there and for us to still responsibly be able to meet the needs of the food service staff and the, and the program needs in terms of making sure that we're still able to pay competitive wages. The select board voted unanimously on Tuesday to approve a $6.8 million override strategy. If anyone's ready to make the motion, we can make a motion to recommend the override. I'll make the motion that we recommend an override of $6.8 million. All in favor? Aye. 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 All against? <laughs> okay, so it's 5-0. Thank you. The proposal, which would be a permanent increase to the town's tax levy, will now be presented to voters during town meeting on March 23rd and later on the May 7th ballot. The override preserves several services in town while making several cuts in its school and town's budgets. An average single-family home assessed at approximately $756,000 can expect to see an approximately $764 added to their tax bill in the first year. That's all for this week. I'm Ben Domain, and you're watching Westford Cat News.